Uh, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it has been a while uh, I'm sure you can still hear my voice I'm still getting better feel a lot better but look at this morning check my sources and saw a pretty big deal um, this is a rule the same rule was in effect in 2016 um, and it went away when Trump came in uh, but it's a rule mandating or not really mandating but it's a rule requiring two-man crews on, on certain things on certain trains and uh, but it's pretty short and sweet and we're just going to read right here it says the fra poses or proposes regulations establishing safe mineral requirements for the size of train crews depending on uh, the type of operation now this is still kind of worded kind of weird for like lawyer terms and how you know, little loopholes and stuff but we'll talk about that uh, minimum requirement of two crew members is proposed for all railroad operations okay so now back to that weird wording the union lawyers can use that versus railroad carrier unions or carrier lawyers can say you know we weren't doing some type of operation or we wasn't doing that type of operation um but yeah minimum requirement of two crew members is proposed for all uh, railroad operations which it, with exceptions proposed for those operations that do not pose significant safety risks to the railroad employees the public or the environment so the only thing I can think of that would really the only thing I can think of where the carrier would say we can just run one engineer would maybe be on like a power move maybe light power um but really that's really about it as far as class ones because everything else poses a significant risk even that you could say light power still uh is a risk to the public because you're going through public crossings but i don't know i don't i don't know what the what the real the carriers are going to try and do here you know they're going to try and extort it as much as they can um the journalist that wrote this said the exception mainly tourist railroads, light power moves, and presumably path and sir, S I R. I don't even know what path and sir is. P A T H and S I R. Um, anyways, so yeah, good rule. Good rule. Um, this is proposed rule would also establish minimum requirements for the location of crew members on a moving train. And promote safe and effective teamwork. So that means he's got to be on the head end. So none of this ground-based conductor crap. Uh, this is FRA is also, also proposes a uh, special approval procedure to allow roads to petition. Of course, you gotta you got to allow that. they got to petition to be able to petition this rule if they need to. So that's basically the rule in a nutshell. I think it's good. I think it's a step in the right direction. I still think it's a little bit of protection for conductors, especially in the right now. And we know about the contract negotiations. If y'all don't know, just know they're dread pretty much just locked because of wages. Um, the unions proposed like a 30 something percent pay increase over, I think it was uh, over five or six years. And the railroad carriers are proposing a 16 or 17 percent pay increase. Really trying to save money is what it boils down to because they don't want to back pay nobody. And like if you look at the carriers deal, it, they're going to pay like two percent for 2020 and then like two percent for 2021. And they jump up a little bit like four or six percent in 2022. It's just uh, they don't want to dip into that into that money that they got, but you know, they're going to have to, I think. But uh, Anyways, quick video, short video, good news, and I woke up and saw that this morning. So if you want to see it, I'll link this down below. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. We broke 6,000 subscribers, which is exciting. And I'll start rolling out videos more often here in the, in the coming weeks and uh, as, as news start to roll out. So that'll be good. Be safe. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.